Hi everyone, today I went back to Puma store to try out the new filters and see the new shoes. <clears throat> what shoes I'm talking about? Well, a few days ago Puma released the drone, its second air shoe in the LQD Silver Region collection. Now there are two variants of colors, um, the first one is uh, day and the other one is night, you know, dark and uh, bright and you can soon see it. Uh, and users can scan the drone and make it invisible by using a certain filter, which I'll show you in a moment. So I just petted um, the beautiful uh, white Jaguars and Entrance and entered the store to try it out. This is the first uh, shoe, as you see here, the Fire Effect. This one I already reviewed on my YouTube channel, so you can check it out if you want to see more uh, uh, the, of this effect uh, from different angles. So just to check out the first two videos that I made about it. So there's also a third filter. Uh, when you scan the drone shoe, um, it emulates a um, point of view of a flying drone with different camera modes, such as infrared vision, night vision, and thermal vision. Now this app is really amazing, and according to the developer, uh, this is a highly technical project entailed extensive uh, image processing, machine learning, AR tracking, and 3D modeling. The app can effortlessly detect an LQD cell versus other objects or shoes and was developed to accommodate future LQD say releases. So this is the first shoe, this is the day one, you know, it's bright and the other one is dark, as you can see. And here I'm um, using the uh, drone filter, which uh, detects the shoe and then position those, uh, you know, uh, square uh, markers around it. And uh, for the shoes it detects, it also detects the first version of the shoe, the original LQD cell and the other ones as well. If you look at the top, you can see total drone vision. Now it's a uh, thermal C. Uh, it's a beautiful effect, really nice colors. I actually thought about using it outside as just uh, a filter of some of the artist artistic uh, images that I'm using with filters on my on my blog wall filters. Um, so as you can see, these are all the three variations of the shoes. This is the dark one, uh, the drone. Uh, the other one is uh, the original one, and the third one over there uh, is the day one. Now, I didn't wear the shoes, I didn't try it on uh, this time, but I already tried the first uh, LQD cell shoe, the first one, uh, a few weeks ago, and it was so comfortable, you won't believe it. As I said, it's like walking on air, so, so comfortable. Now, this is another filter coming on May 16th. Uh, I won't be here to try it out, but uh, hopefully I'll find those shoes uh, elsewhere, and I'm going to try it out as well. Now, but to be honest, at that point, I really wanted to press something to shoot, like a drone that shoots on the shoe, and you can see some maybe damage and explosion on the shoe. Ah, oh, this would be amazing. Ah, something that I wished for. Maybe, I don't know, maybe in, in a future update, we're going to see something really cool like that. Now this effect looks really beautiful, this is my favorite one, I also like the black and white one, also looks really really cool. And as you soon see, uh, there's kind of a banner uh, just uh, on the other side, like in, uh, in the back of the shoes, uh, kind of a picture. It also detected this one, you, you see? This is just a picture at the back, it also detected it and it shows uh, the rectangular uh, marker on this. It wasn't the shoe, it was just an image of the shoe, but see, it just uh, recognized it and put the marker on it as well. So this is another fire effect on the first LQD cell origin uh, um, uh, AR shoes uh, and soon you're gonna see uh, another, uh, the second experience uh, which allows you to uh, see the different parts uh, this the uh, LQD cell shoe is made of. Just keep in mind what you see here, it's a virtual shoe. The other one, the real physical uh, shoe is over there on the right side. And uh, you can just tap and then you can see kind of a breakdown of the shoe itself with some uh, overlay information in augmented reality. So you can learn more about the different parts, which is nice. Sometimes I usually turn around the shoe from different angles and I have kind of those uh, uh, words uh, that I don't understand about this and it's nice that you have the option to actually see and understand 
something about the product in front of you, in this case a shoe, uh, you know, while in the shop and while shopping for shoes. Now because it's in AR, it's virtual, I can do something like this. I can actually get into the shoe and show you how it looks from the inside. So that was really cool. Now let's check out the cloaking effect. So this is another filter that cloaks uh, the shoe. It looks really, really cool. And with some other uh, kind of uh, uh, camera effects, kind of a filter uh, that is in the entire frame. Um, and it looks really, really nice. And of course, if you move the shoe, uh, the effect remains. This is so nice. I really like this effect. I really like this effect. Just so playing with it, trying to put things behind it and in front of it and see how it renders. Uh, as you can see, when I move the shoe, the effect remains. I mean, there's a tracking involved here. So when I rotate the shoe and move it around, uh, the effect remains on the shoe. So really cool. It works really well. Oh, just so you know, I tried the, the um, cloaking effect with my Android phone and it didn't work for me. I don't know why. I mean, it detected the shoe, but it went back to the to the fire effect and it didn't show me the... I don't know why. I don't know why. So I actually, the first footage that I took was with my Android and this one was done with my iPad. Uh, so on my iPad, uh, for iOS, it actually worked well. So again, I don't know the reason. Um, you know, maybe an update it will solve. Maybe it's for my specific device. I'm actually using the OnePlus 6. Uh, device. Uh, I don't see any reason for it not to work, but I really I tried many times. Uh, it was a problem there. Uh, but when I tried it on uh, my iPad, it work, uh, worked beautifully. Now, lately, I'm very interested in the artistic aspect of augmented reality in general. Um, you can check out my other website, wowfilters.com, wow.filters, uh, to read more about it. Uh, here you can see that the fire effect uh, also works um, uh, on the drone shoe as well, as you can see. It works really, really nice. Uh, tracking also works really nice. Same, uh, same as uh, it worked on the original AQD cell uh, origin uh, AR shoe uh, with a very clear uh, black and white markers on it. The main difference here is here the markers just look different and all don't look like uh, like QR cords. Uh, you know, as you say, just look different, kind of an image painted on the shoe. Um, and it works very well. Very accurate, same as before. Didn't notice any difference between the tracking accuracy uh, between the two shoes. Oh, and by the way, if you want tracking to be active, there's a button on the right side, as you can see in the middle of the screen, kind of a toggle button. Just press on it and it will toggle the tracking. Without it, it's going to put the fire, but when you're going to move the shoe, uh, the fire won't... Uh, persist on the shoe, so make sure you toggle this um, tracking button. Now, augmented reality in fashion is going to be something really, really huge in the upcoming years, and this is just a glimpse, a start of what's possible, and of course things will just get better and better over time. Now, with AR glasses, you can actually look at your friend, and they're probably going to use different type of filters, and you just walk in the street, and you're going to see people's shoes on fire, or many types of different effects all over the place. The same that you see now with um, uh, face uh, augmented reality face filters, like for Instagram, Facebook, or Snapchat, you're going to see on clothing. Uh, it's going to be something really exciting. You go outside and you see all those effects. Whew! It's going to be so interesting walking outside in the future. You don't understand. I'm telling you, even those who weren't interested about creating things, being creative, they're going to be creative no matter what. They just want to, uh, you know, try out different types of filters on their clothing and you want to see other people uh, react to their unique uh, clothing uh, augmented reality creations. It's going to be insane. Of course, we can just download and try out different um, effects that other people made in the community. Anyway, back to our filter.
Now this uh, cloaking filter wasn't available the first time I tried the original LQD cell uh, original issue uh, and it was unlocked early on and according to what I read uh, more filters uh, will be available uh, in the future uh, in the same app so you only need to download the LQD cell app from either the App Store or Google Play for Android um, uh, and you'll be able to unlock those uh, new filters in the future. I think also they're going to create an, uh, an article soon about different ideas for this and hopefully I will, we'll see them in the future. Uh, overall, I'm very impressed, really, really enjoyed using it, really enjoyed using it. I don't know, I could spend uh, like hours there just trying out the different filters, just a few filters. Imagine what happened when they're going to have like, you know, in the future, like, you know, hundreds of filters. Oh my God, I'm going to spend all the day with my shoes. <laughs> it's going to be insane. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I see you soon in another cool video. See you, everyone. Bye-bye. Cheers.